Pina. Uh, Giuliani Archibald would be in goal for St. Kitts Nevis. Your defenders, uh, Jason uh, St. Joseph, a uh, prison leader. Uh, we've got uh, Zephaniah Thomas along with Tesfa Robinson. Your midfielders, uh, Gerard Williams, uh, Devon Elliott. Errol Lockley in the starting lineup this evening. He is wearing number 13, and Romaine Sawyer. And uh, up front, you've got uh, Atiba Harris, who is the captain of the team. He'll be getting some good support from Gerard Williams. We did be hoping for a similar sort of gameplay uh, coming from Errol Lockley here tonight. The whistle goes. We are off and running. Sylvester, take it away. Well, he is just on the left side of the field looking for this one. Just trying to stride over the center line coming up the left hand. The ball being taken away momentarily. An infringement called against Dominica on the left side of the field. Early days yet. It will be number two, St. Just, with it. Uh, he will try to send this one along into the penalty area. The players are all jostling for position up front. Here is St. Joss with the, the free kick. Takes it now, gets it across the top of the penalty area. Pulled back there by Robinson and the goalkeeper. That is Prince, the captain, Glenson Prince. He comes off his mark quite easily and picks it up for Dominica. Well, Prince, he volleys that one down the center of the field. His first kick of the ball all the way back down. And Jolana Archibald will take that one from end to end. Uh, striking that one, just trying to get a measure of his kick. And, and struck it all the way down into the other half. This one is taken by St. Joseph. He's trying to build it. The ball with Orlando. Orlando turns it back, finds uh, O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin onto the head of Sawyer, who is heading that one forward. Uh, unable to control. Picked up there by Team St. Joseph. Kicks it away in the center circle. Here comes the diagonal pass. Looking for the number 18 in Lee. Lee trying to close down on that one for Dominica. Right to the corner flag. Tries to get it across and the goalkeeper will come quite easily and pick that one up. That's Giuliani. Archibald in goal for Team St. Joseph. Rolls it out quite quickly. He finds O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin with it. Turns on the inside. Uh, finds the man in the center of the circle. That's Williams. Gerard Williams on the left. Both shifts up on over. Looking for the man overlapping here is... Uh, <laughs> well, it's Elliot trying to control that one. Not controlling very well, I must say. But had a break there, Samuels. And should have done much better with it. Not making use of the space that he had. Uh, seemingly, he thought a defender was on to him. And instead of allowing the ball to rest at his feet. Yeah, here comes it just up the left side of the field, trying to get the one across. And it takes the ball. It's a great goal. It's an own goal here by Dominica. There was St. Joe sneaking up the left side of the field. Took that one across. And the defender was trying to clear that one. He came off his boot, rushed past the custodian in Glenson Springs, into the back of the net for an own goal to Dominica. And St. Snivis is off. The first goal in just about the second uh, minute of this game. St. Kitts is going ahead. One goal to nil. Well, definitely that the, not the kind of start that Dominica uh, would have been hoping for. They would have been looking uh, for something much more palatable as far as uh, they went. Uh, but uh, pressure being brought to bear. Nice ball taken coming down the left flank. Cross into uh, the central part of the 18-yard box. The defenders are caught in confusion nobody really knowing what to do and in the end it was an own goal i think the last person who would have made contact with it was the man julian Wade, the number seven player unfortunate for him but St. Kitts Nevis, they'd be pleased. Here they come again, yes, spinning attack. Elliot down the left side of the field, trying to turn that one inside, and the ball being cleared across the western touchline. Some pressure being brought to bear on the left side of the field. I, I think St. Kitts Nevis, probably looking at that first game, realized there was a problem for Dominique on their right side, and they're exploiting that to great effect. Here comes St. Joss, goes back. He finds Robinson, St. Kitts in their own defensive half, finds leader, leader, goes square onto the right side, finds a lock in, a lock in, tries to go up the right side, looking to Push forward, the ball intercepted by Dominica. They're trying to go forward now. Intercepted by Sink is picked up there by the man. Uh, it is Thomas Zephaniah Thomas in midfield for Sink is Nevis. Dominica now picks that one up. It's with Baptiste. Kenny Baptiste shifts that one to the left side, looking for his man to go forward. The ball headed back to the custodian in goal for Sink And Julani Archibald picks it one up quite easily. Looks up, he's going to roll that one forward. Has it back in his defense, trying to calm things down. Now he puts that one up, up the center of the field. Uh, onto the head of Sawyer, not getting dear. Control there by Lachlan finds uh, Thomas. Thomas picks it up, a diagonal pass, looking for the man on the outside right position. Here's a break for it. Sink is trying to get forward inside of the territory. Could be another opportunity. 
and he tries to strike that one forward. It was Atiba Harris who got inside of the penalty area, got behind the defense, and the custodian in Baptist, well, Prince, uh, Princeton Prince, coming off his marker and probably running into the right boot of Atiba Harris. Again, he should have pulled that one back perhaps, and for the unrushing player, he elected to take a shot, but the goalkeeper is down there, uh, John Sam. Yes, Princeton Prince may be taking a nap there from the unrushing Atiba Harris. But the, the first attack was on the left flank. Now this one was brought to be on the right. Uh, Zephaniah Thomas in the midfield, realizing that he had a Harrison company streaking down the right, got the vertical pass, got the diagonal passing, picked up nicely into the 18-yard box, and Glenson Prince was left with no choice but to come and try and use his body as the final line of defense. And uh, maybe a little bit unfortunately for him, he would have made contact with the boot of one or two of the advancing players. But you know, the goalkeeper is a special case so we're going to have to wait until wait he is just team. about ready yes. and then we resume the action but Sylvester team saying it's never look very purposeful I like what I'm seeing from them uh, they're moving the ball from side to side that was one of the mistakes I think they made the first night around balls would have gotten up the left flank went stagnant ball would have gotten up the right flank went stagnant so far what we're seeing is good moving from left to right and the players coming up the middle they appear to be very very alert as well it, it, it has been working so far in the first five minutes. But More it's a pressure, a corner oh, comes up. This uh, corner kick, uh, here they are, turns it outside, looking for some assistance there, turns it back, uh, finds a lock, lock, lock goes square. He, he finds the man, he gets away from St. Joss, he's going to check that one down, here's a chance for Dominica. The play is streaking outside of the box, this could be dangerous, he's going to get it, now the tackle comes in from St. Joss at the last moment, gets it across the goal line, and good defensive work there, collapsing well, getting back very free-footed uh, St. Joss was able to get back and tackle that one across the goal and giving up the corner kick instead John. Well uh, the Kittishan spectators, the same Kisnev spectators, they wouldn't have liked what they saw just a while ago. Um, the ball was sent back to St. Joss. Uh, he didn't read it. I think it was pushed a little too hard as a matter of fact. It was almost like a 50-50 ball between him and the advancing player from Dominica. The Dominican took it, slipped it wide. Corner comes in now. Sylvester. Comes across on the top of the box and clear by saying it's out of their own defensive area, out of their penalty area, and gets it across the eastern touchline. It will be a throw into uh, Dominica. Uh, from the far side, eastern side, Dominica now trying to press, looking for the equalizer, already having an own goal in the first two minutes of the game. And this one goes across the eastern touchline, halfway in the defensive half. I think it's Nevis or Lachlan. He, he would take it if into uh, uh, back to O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin goes back to his custodian in Jelani. Jelani Archibald with it finds Robinson. Robinson number four goes wide, finds St. Just. It's all St. Kitts Nevis in their own defensive half. No real pressure yet. Chips are turned over now looking for some movement by Sawyer upon that left side of the field. He's trying to go forward. Uh, tackle comes in there from the number, trying to pick up the number of that player. Not visible to us from this vantage point. But here comes uh, Elliot. Elliot goes back, finds St. Just think he's trying to go forward. A tackle put in there by Dominica's very strong move there by Lee. Lee of Dominica on the right side turns it on the inside. Number five, the ball being taken away there by Baptiste. From Baptiste, that's Kenny Baptiste, number five. And we also have uh, Kimon Baptiste, number 14. And the I would almost want across. to believe that they might be twins, Kenny and Kimon. K K yeah, Kenny and Kimon. Well, this one headed over the touchline once more. The number 13 for Dominica in Walker, unable to control it. It will be a throw into team St. Kitts Nevis, just about inside the defensive half of Dominica on the left side. This one into Sawyer. Sawyer playing high on the top on the left side. He's still Sawyer. He's looking for support. He's Sawyer getting away from the play on the left side. Chips that one over. This one could be dangerous. Looking for Atiba. Uh, caught in an offside position. Going a little ahead of the play and flat on that move there, John. Yes, Atiba Harris not timing his run well. Sawyer looked up. I uh, realized that he was in a pretty a decent position to launch the attack. And uh, Harry seeing it, being a little bit over-exuberant, I thought, uh, not reading it as he should have, and ended up uh, being offside. But St. Kitts Nevis enjoying major position of the ball so far. Yeah, here is uh, the Bowen Elliott losing that one in the, in the middle of the field. Picked up there by Dominica. Dominica on the left side. The ball being tackled across the Western Touchdown. No, coming off the boot of the number 18, 18. 18 in Lee. 
and throwing to Sinkis. Here is Sinkis with it. Elliot turns it in the middle of the field, finds uh, uh, Williams. Williams goes wide, finds the man O'Loughlin outside right position or the right back position into attack a strong move on the far side an infringement called against dominica just inside their defensive half on the far left side of the field it will be a dead ball situation to team sink it's needed to score still remains one nil here at one apart the goals an own goal scored by uh, dominica in the first uh, uh, in the second minute of the game, here's St. Joss on the left side of the field. Think it's trying to mount an attack. The ball being chipped forward, find Thomas. Zephaniah Thomas on the left side tries to get the ball to beat the man quite easily. Turn it on the top of the box, but good defensive work being put in there by Dominica. Here's Sink is trying to put another move to get on the top of the box. Picked up by the man leader. Leader goes to the right side looking for Tiba Harris. Tiba Harris breaking down at the right side. Guess that one across the shot of goal and goes over the crossbar. There was an attacking move by Team Sink it's needed. It was a team of Harris this time taking it one time and getting it across into the penalty area. And in come an outstretched boot and got it just inches past the eastern upright John. Uh, Romain saw with the opportunity that time the ball coming square across. Uh, I think he might have realized that there were two, three defenders breathing down his neck and uh, in an effort to take the kick on goal was 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 a bit too hasty with his shot and spewed it over the crossbar but again St. Kitts Nevis they are looking to attack they well here yeah, he saw you once more takes a powerful shot on goal and Fantastic the goalkeeper save by the people. Glenston Prince throwing himself full stretch and bringing off another spectacular save there John well he has earned his worth so far in the first couple of minutes of play uh, he has had an own goal scored against him. He has been called into attendance uh, three, four, five, six times already. And we're just in the 12th minute of play, Sylvester. Well, it's really fast and furious here at Warner Park in this the featured game for tonight between Team St. Snevis and uh, Dominica. It's still a 1-0 affair. That goal coming in the second minute of the game, an own goal by Dominica, but here is Sinkis in their own defensive half. Here is Robinson. Goes up, finds Elliot. Elliot for Sinkis goes back. Look for Robinson. He put under some pressure. He goes back to his own custodian all the way back. Looking for support. Changes the play to the right side. Finds Lachlan. Errol Lachlan goes up on the right side, looking to control, finds Williams, chips at one over, looking for some movement up on the right side, not getting there. The ball being played across the eastern touchline and think it's Nevis really pushing on. Malcolm Joseph under a bit of pressure at that time. He, he decided to go the safe way rather than being sorry. <laughs> a little bit too quickly for him and he cleared it, made it big across the touchline on that far side. Well, he looking saw to counter. With the ball being put back, looking for support, booted into the defense of St. Kitts Nevis, picked up quite easily by Jalani. He goes to the left side, St. Joss, having a bit of space in defense, comes over the center line now on the left side, tries to sneak that one up, looking for Elliot, not getting there, intercepted by Lee of Dominica, gets it across the western touchline, a throw into St. Kitts, taken very quickly. Elliot back to St. Joss, not getting it really on target to feet. Too much pace on that one from pace, Elliot. In fact, it loads uh, St. Justin, goes across the Western touchline for a throw in to Dominica. Uh, Lee will take it up the right side of the field, trying to push on forward. Heads that one down. He finds Batiste. That's uh, Kenny Batiste. That one comes off the boot of Act uh, Orlando Mitchum. And it goes across the Western touchline for a throw in to uh, Dominica. The score still remains 1 0. That's goal and own goal by Dominica in the second minute of the game. Since then, it has been some serious pressure here by Team St. Kitts Nevis. Here they are in their own defensive half. An infringement perhaps against Dominica down on that right side. It will be a dead ball situation to Team St. Kitts Nevis. But Dominica trying to circle. You, you see them calming themselves down, trying to circle, trying to hold on to the ball a bit, trying to spread it wide. And, and, and they're trying to organize themselves. Yes, but it's not just being about allowed to take control the as they want to. Uh, they want to play a, a slow version of the game it appears uh, St. Kitts Nevis they have been hosting it, they have been keeping it up tempo, uh, nearly running them into the ground on a couple of occasions and we would just have to wait and see whether or not the home team can keep up this hectic pace, but they are really travelling they are really putting the pressure on and it's a good game so far, very very
high tempo, very, very much high pace. Here's a diagonal ball looking for Sayed, breathing down on the left side, going right to the corner flag. He saw you with it, very skillful. Takes that one inside, finds Thomas. Thomas gets a goal, stays up the goal, and Atibo unable to get the boot onto that one. Good defensive work being put in there by Dominica, and here to come away with it on the right side of the field. Then number seven now going down, weed down on that right side. The ball goes across the western touchline. And a throw into, I uh, think it's Robinson with it. He goes to the left side. He finds St. Just. St. Just finding a bit of space. He's still St. Just. Not being challenged. He's St. Just over the center line. He's still St. Just trying to sneak that one up on the left side. Looking for Sawyer. The boy intercepted quite well by the number 13, that's Walker. And it will be Sinkis Nidis once more. Throw comes in Walker challenging Sawyer. Sawyer Sinkis Walker from Dominica. He picked up there by the man Elliot. Elliot finds St. Just. St. Just being bungled off the ball. But one again by Sinkis Elliot. Beats one play still. Elliot takes a second play. This one turns in looking for Sawyer. He think it's coming forward. Finds Elliot. Elliot breaks. Finds Sawyer on the left side. He cuts inside of the area quite easily. Turns it back looking for Elliot. And good interception there by Dominica. But he says Sinkis Elliot turns it to the right side one touch pass find the man on the outside right he cuts it and the tackle it looks like going for the right team said gets near here was the player trying to sneak into the area being tackled to the ground and immediately the ref is signaling to the penalty area and that is what pressure does and good ball handling and patience does inside of the penalty area john well a good friend of mine normally reminds me that force makes water go uphill <laughs> and science water. science it's good science. <laughs> Based on what is being happening here, my goodness. Uh, it looks like Romain Sawyer is going to prepare to take the gig. Well, think it's Nevis with a chance to go 2 nil up in the 16th minute of this game. Romain Sawyer standing over it. Can he put this away for Team Sinkits? He comes forward now and he takes a strike into the back of the net. Sinkits is caught. The second goal here in this featured game. Romain Sawyer hit it in the right direction. The goalkeeper went the right way, but he was too late. It was already in the corner of the net. Romain Sawyer scored his first goal for this tournament for Team Sinkis Nevis. Sinkis Nevis, two goals to net. Energizing the local supporters, electrifying the local supporters. Sinkis Nevis with a two goal to nil advantage. They'll be hoping to build on that, but they can't listen their laurels, uh, Sylvester. I dare say that the Dominica team would be hoping to reorganize, maybe re uh, assess themselves early in the game and then determine how best to approach this uh, situation that they have found themselves in. Well, they have been bungled off the ball. Tremendous pressure by team St. Kitts Nevis playing a very uh, aggressive game in the opening stages, the opening 15 minutes, and been rewarded with some two goals so far. Can they keep up this sort of aggression and uh, momentum, John, where well, it's left to be seen? Well, they have been forced into a situation of this nature. Um, you remember that the first game ended up nil-nil between themselves and St. Lucia. St. Lucia would have gotten away with two goals this evening and winning their game. And if St. Kitts Nevis want to leave the second round of matches on top, they'd have to score at least more than two. Well, <laughs> they are, they're already even on two. This one comes over, a challenge here by Dominica Batis with it, takes it outside, looking for some support. He's trying to swivel and turn. Good defensive work being put in there by team St. Kitts Nevis gets it across the eastern touchline. Well, comes off the boot of Batis, and it will be a throw in. That's uh, Kenny Batis booted down the right side by team uh, St. Kitts Nevis. Let us see some movement. The custodian. Uh, Glenston Prince, captain and goalkeeper, comes off his marker for Dominica and picks that one up, bounces once or twice, uh, jumps around in the area, goes to the right side. He's looking for some movement from his players. Now he boots it up the center of the field onto the head of midfield player. Sinkis takes it down, finds Williams. Williams turns it back, finds St. Just. St. Just cuts on the inside, looking for some space. He shifts it to the left side. He finds Williams. That's Gerard Williams of Sinkis. He's looking up. Turns it right into the center of the field. Finds at Mitchum. A diagonal pass. And he looks for Elliot. Finds him. Going to the corner flag. Having a bit of space. He looks up. Gets the cross. Quickly the goalkeeper. Being put under some pressure and takes it. Uh, uh, acrobatically taking it inside of the six-yard box. This was Glenson Prince. Good hold there by Glenson Prince. Well, Dominica should be saying thanks to Glenson Prince. They are already two goals down, but uh, barring what he would have done, they could have been three or four goals down already. And he has really 
made the difference as far as further goal co scoring exploits are concerned. Well, St. Kitts controlling the midfield there. Finds William. Williams looks for a leader. They over on that right side. Finds O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin turns it into the midfielder. A bit of a tussle for the St. Kitts loses that one on the far right side. No, wins it again. It's St. Kitts needed. It seems to be everywhere. This one turns inside. Finds Sawyer. Sawyer going to know that's Williams. Turns it back. Finds O'Loughlin. He chips that one over looking for the man overlapping. Passes in an offside position. Oh, no, my word. It was Thomas who was breaking free there in the center. Some two players going forward. Sawyer and Thomas both been caught in the offside chair. Smart work there by the defenders for Dominica. They realized what was happening. And the number three and number nine, they drifted uh, slightly across. That's Malcolm Joseph. And along with him <coughs> was uh, Lester Langley. So they realized what was happening. They slightly came forward. And by the time Thomas reacted, he was caught in an offside position. Smart work done by the defense. But they've got to be careful because there have been cases where the offside trap has been flown. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens tonight. It worked on that occasion for Dominic. <coughs> this one shifted up the center of the field. It goes over the head. The goalkeeper, Jolani, comes off his mark and takes it down quite easily and comfortably. Picked up there by Williams. Williams being pushed off the ball and infringement, perhaps. Yes, we have a flag on the play. He was holding it up, waiting, waiting for some support. And in came the challenge from the uh, number 20 in Williams. That's Eskin Williams of Dominica and infringing the player in the process. This one is with Dominica in the center of the field. Picked up there by act Orlando Mitchum turns it to the right side finds O'Loughlin O'Loughlin goes further to the right side looking for Atiba who is breaking to the right side and creating some space for himself the one tackled by Hubert Prince across the eastern touchline it will be a throw-in to team St. Kitts Nevis here they are coming forward Dominica wins that one in the middle of the field chips that one over looking for some movement the goalkeeper will be put under some pressure it goes over it's easily taken negotiates it well and allows it to go did he well, he's jumping around inside of the penalty area, and it's going to be, in fact, a goal kick to the uh, team St. Kitts Nevis. 22 minutes gone. It's the second game of the evening. St. Kitts Nevis doing battle against St. Lucia. Two goals to nil in favor of St. Kitts Nevis. Coverage of this encounter being brought to you by way of ZIZ Radio 96.1 FM. ZIZ Online for those of you who are streaming it. And Winners TV for the folks in St. Lucia who are following the action. Two goals to nil. It's Dominica with it, just inside the defensive half on the left side of the field. Hubert Prince, number four, will take this one. It's a dead ball situation, an infringement called against St. Kitts Nevis. Taken with the right boot up the left side of the field. Taken down quite easily by the number seven. He's coming across the top of the box, looking to go forward. A ball being tackled away, not getting it very far. He's still with Dominica. Here is Baptiste, number five. Kenny Baptiste turn, turns it around, intercepted the bison just, and he's trying to break. Elliot finds him too down the left side. No, coverage quickly there by the defense of Dominica. And a goalkeeper comes away with it. That's the number three, Malcolm Joseph, who picks that one up. He boots it up the right side, looking for some movement from the number 20 in Williams. Eskin Williams not being able to get there. Intercepted well by the defense of St. Kitts. Now being put under a bit of pressure. They have to be very careful. Playing around with it on the top of the box. The ball goes square. Finds, uh, well, kicked away somewhat. Picked up there by a a goes to the right side. Finds a Tiba. Tiba finding a bit of space. Turns it inside. Finds Thomas. Thomas tries a one-touch pass. Looking, but intercepted there by Hubert. But here comes Team St. Kitts Nevis once more. The ball being blocked. Picked up there by Kenny Baptiste. Baptiste goes to the left side. Is Dominica trying to push on forward? St. Kitts going back to their midfield. Finds Leader. Leader turns it on the inside. He finds Thomas. Thomas a diagonal pass. Looking for Sawyer down the left side. He's streaking down the left side. But gets on it now. Looking for some support is Sawyer. Sawyer's trying to get away from the play. Still Sawyer. Sawyer. He finds some help. He finds... Uh, <laughs> St. Just, St. Just back to Sawyer, Sawyer swiveling and turning, he's looking for St. Just, finds him too, St. Just with it, goes back, he finds Thomas, Thomas number 17 for St. Kitts Nevis, finds Robinson, Robinson just about the center line, just inside his own half, he finds Thomas, Thomas chips it one forward, gives it away in the process, looking for Elliot, Elliot unable to control, he takes it away, he, he still Elliot, gets it in the rebound, turns it inside, looking for some help, Elliot trying to go to the center of the field and the goalkeeper, Prince Glenson's reading that one well, coming off his 
defense marker and booting that one into the defense of Sinkis. Sinkis once more coming forward, finds Atiba. Atiba turns it inside. He finds Williams. Williams goes further inside, finds a, a one touch pass inside, finds Elliot. This one a diagonal pass looking for the man on the outside, finds him too. That is Ati. He has some, a bit of space. He's trying to get past the defender, not getting the pass in number four in Hubert Prince, who gets it across the eastern touch line for a throw in uh, to Sinkis Davis. Still Sinkis Davis. More attack. Here is O'Loughlin. Chips that one across. So he takes a shot and gets it over the crossbar. Well, it looks as though it's an offside. No, it's going to be a goal kick. Uh, that one was a dipping cross coming from the right side. It was Sawyer who took the volley and got it over the crossbar. Another opportunity for Team St. Kitts Nevis. Excellent cross coming from the right flank. I think Sawyer, however, thought that he was in an offside position. And even when he was taking shot, he was looking across uh, at the referee's assistant, maybe expecting the flag uh, and not being purposeful in his shot and goal. Uh, refereeing the game for himself there a little bit, I thought. And St. Kitts Nevis spewing a chance uh, that could have pushed him up three goals to nil over Dominica. Where here is Dominica there, number three in Joseph. Joseph takes it, trying to go through the center, not controlled there by Williams. Picked up there by Dominica once more, intercepted by Leader. Leader comes forward, one touch pass by Atiba. Atiba finds, uh, well, a player is down for Dominica, just about the center circle, just inside the defensive half of St. Vincent. And we'll be trying to identify that player for you over there. But it's some 25 minutes into the game. It's two goals to nail in favor of Team St. Kitts Nevis. We had an own goal by Dominica in, in the second minute of the game. And just about the 16 minute, it, it was a, a shot and goal by Team St. Kitts Nevis from the penalty spot, uh, Romain Sawyer, who did good and put it away for St. Kitts Nevis getting their second goal. Yes, no doubt they'll be pleased with the work that they've put in so far. And they'll be telling themselves that it's not over yet. There's still a few time to go. Um, Kenny Jean-Baptiste was the man who was down. He has regained his footing. And he appears to be in good metal again. So the flow of the game would continue. Uh, St. Kitts Nevis, no doubt, will be hoping to build on their 2-0 lead. Uh, Dominica will be trying to at least get onto the scorecards and then maybe search for the equalizer. Well, here is St. Kitts Nevis. Finding a uh, leader, leader in defense, goes forward, find O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin with it now. Circling well, finds a Tiba on the far right side. Still in their own half. This one chipped in, looking a little, getting to a little a bungle there. Team St. Kitts Nevis picked up by Dominica. They're trying to build on that left side, turns it inside, finds Kenny Baptiste. Not getting the pass on target on that left side. It goes across the far eastern side, across the touchline to be taken, a throwing by Team Sinkis Nevis. I think the Dominica defense is going to have to be careful. On a couple of occasions, they've been playing very, very high. And we have seen a couple of foot races going the way of Team St. Kitts Nevis. When it hasn't been Romain Sawyer, it has been Devon Elliott who's been getting the better of the defenders. So you're going to have to be a little bit more careful uh, the defense for Dominica. Well, here is Team St. Kitts Nevis winning that one. Elliott turns it back. He finds Romain Sawyer. Bit of space here. Just upon the center line. Boots it inside. Finds Elliott. Elliott is trying to get away from the player. Here he's uh, getting away. Trying to cut across the center of the field. Gets away from the custodian. And this one put it to the back of the net. Is it a goal to St. Kitts Nevis? Oh, well done there by the man at Tiba Harris on this occasion. Getting the free ball. It could have been a penalty kick, but he saw the free ball and he stuck it right in easily into the back of the net. St. Kitts Nevis has scored their third goal. Three goals to Nara in favor of Team St. Kitts Nevis. Beautifully played. You had the man, Devon Elliott, coming down the middle, getting rid of two defenders, went to his left first, went towards his right, and then slotted it through nicely. And Harris coming through made no mistakes this time about it. The custodian came out. He had no choice but to do so. Uh, he got past him, went across towards the right, and Kiba Harris made no mistake this time. Pinpoint accurate shot. Three goals to nil. St. Kitts Nevis in a very, very strong position. Well, the professional player he is, uh, he should do things like that. Hitting it one time into the back of them. Not like the first night on Wednesday night when he was trying to feel his way around. No, he that wouldn't have been his best night at all. Well, tonight he's showing you that he's a true professional. And he, he struck it one time into the back of the net. Well done, Atiba. Uh, Sinkis Nevis. Three goals to nil. Well, here's Dominica trying to come back. They're on the left side of the field. Chips that one over looking for a foot race up on that left side, but the ball goes across the eastern touchline. It will be a throw into Team Sinkis Nevis. They can very quickly. This one comes across looking for St. Joss. He's looking for some support. Is St. Joss with it being put under some pressure and being tripped 
somewhat from behind. Yes, he's got, he got <laughs> clipped at the heels and he tumbled over the ball going across <laughs> the, the goal line. The referee's assistant on this, the eastern side, he had his flag up in a very, very quick time. And the referee indicated that, hey, it's going to be a free kick going the way of Team St. Kitts Nevis. Looks like their custodian is going to be taking it, Sylvester. Well, it's Jolani Archibald, the custodian for Team St. Kitts Nevis. He's going to take it with the right boot on the left side of the field. Boots it right down on the right side. Looking for some movement. Here's Elliot. Elliot is trying to get a boot in. Not getting there. Picked up there by uh, Dominica. Chipped forward by Lee. Lee looking for Williams. Williams trying to get up a, a bit of a clipping of the heel. No. Picked up there by Team St. Kitts Nevis. Here's William. Williams fine. Elliot, Elliot chips that one wide, looking for Sawyer. And the ball goes across the western touchline, eluding Sawyer. And then number six for Dominico will pick that one up. Lawrence, Kevin Lawrence throws it in, finds some support, looking there for Lee down on the right side, not getting there. Uh, a bit slow, a bit too strong a pass, in fact, coming in there from the number 13 in Walker. Yes, even you in both would have had problems <laughs> cutting that one. Yeah, very much so. And so it was too much for Lee. And he could not catch up with that one. It still goes to nail in favor of Team St. Kitts Nevis. And we are still in the second half. This one goes wide, looking for a lock. And finds him too. He turns it inside, finds Thomas. The Finaya Thomas goes wide. He finds a Tiba. A Tiba with a bit of room. Settling that one down. Turns it back. Finds a lock lane. Still in their own half. His Team St. Kitts Nevis turns it inside. Finds William Williams. Boots that one forward onto the head of Thomas. This one played easily back to uh, the man Prince in goal. Uh, turns to the far right side, finds Hubert Prince. Prince hits it downfield, finds Baptiste. Baptiste tries a one-touch pass to the far right side, gets it across the eastern touchline. He went across the touchline, in fact, not well directed on that occasion, and a throw in to Team St. Kitts This is a square pass. Finds Thomas. Thomas looking for St. Joss, not getting there. Here comes a foot race by Robinson. Is he going to turn? Oh, he gets it back. Finds the man St. Joss. St. Joss looks up now, finding a bit of room, left-footed player somewhat. Finds William. William turns it back finds Robinson Robinson goes square finds the man leader he's all sink his navies in the own defensive half finds O'Loughlin O'Loughlin up the right side finds Atiba one touch pass turns it on inside finds Elliot Elliot goes square he finds Williams he's all sink his navies to the left side finds him just just on the left side looking for some support turns it on inside looking for Robinson finds him too he goes straight off the center finds Elliot Elliot been put under some pressure a bit of an elbow in the process coming in there from the number three in Joseph Malcolm Joseph in the center circle and an infringement called. About 15 Dominica. consecutive passes there coming from wow. Team St. Kitts Nevis. <laughs> they just kept on knocking it around. One of the features of the play here tonight, though, has been the maturity of the defense. Normally, you would have had big clearance being made when the ball gets into the back line. Not tonight. They've been knocking it around. They've been finding the passes pretty well as they continue to attack coming down the left flank. Well, here comes Team St. Kitts Nevis passes. That one in the center of the field. This could be dangerous. Oh, no. The chip goes wide of the eastern upright. There was a Tiba Harris once more chipping the goalkeeper was coming. He chipped it with the left boot and he just went a few inches past the eastern upright. Oh, what a move there by Team Sinkis Nibis. Again, a Glenston Prince being put under immense pressure. He has really had a lot of work to do. The defense has not been standing up as valiantly as it should. And he's got to be careful because St. Kitts Nevis here on the attack once more. Well, 32 minutes into the game, he's still Team St. Kitts Nevis. Um, uh, three goals to nail. It could have been four. I, I thought that one was going to drop into the back of the net. It was not to be. It went wide of the eastern upright. This one headed across the eastern touchline. Just inside the defensive half of St. Kitts Nevis, it will be a throw in uh, to Dominica. Here come Hubert Prince, throws it in right about now, looking for some support, uh, not getting there. He, he boots that one square onto the head of a midfielder for Sinkis. Picked up there by Sawyer in the middle of the field. He easily eases that one forward, finds Williams. Williams find Elliot. Elliot in the middle of the field, looking for support, looking for Williams. The ball eludes him. Picked up there by Lee of Dominica. He chips that one forward onto the head of Robinson, the defender for Team Sinkis. Nevis heads it back. Picked up there by Archibald. He rolls it to the left side, finds St. Joss, St. Joss with it, chips it forward, finds Thomas, Thomas goes back to St. Joss on that left side, looking to chip that one, beats the man on the inside, coming forward, uh, takes it on the left side, oh, a dainty place, overlapping up on the left side, he's speeding up the left side, trying to get away from the defender, and he comes across the number three, Malcolm Joseph, and tackles that one well, across the western touchline, here comes Ingrid once more, with it, the ball goes back, looks for Thomas, Thomas with it, goes to the left side, turns it inside, looks for Sawyer, Sawyer being held back, Here's a player trying to cut through the center. 
been held back an infringement called against the number six in Lawrence. That's a particular infringement. Saint just as a well, it's a dead ball situation. To a play down seconds. for Dominica. The physiotherapist yes. is racing on it. Yes. Just inside the 18-yard box. It uh, looks as if he's having some difficulties with his right foot. Maybe a, a case of cramps or taking a, a little bit of a knock uh, on the ankle. Uh, but uh, definitely needs for concern as far as Dominica goes. 35 minutes gone. Down by three goals to nil. Do you think they've got the fortitude to come back in the second half? Ah, anything can happen. We are looking at football here in the Caribbean Preliminary Cup. And anything can happen, John. Uh, you, it's football. You can't count out the team, but I think it's looking quite strong in this, the first half. I think uh, Dominica at halftime will have to go back to the drawing boards and come with a new strategy for this very powerful and skillful think it's Navy soccer team. Well... Elliot with it on the left side. Guys, and one across the ball. Fantastic move oh, by the keeper. Spectacular save. It was one that was dipping. He was looking to come across, hoping that it was going to be across, but it was actually a shot on goal. It was dipping behind, and he went back acrobatically and, and tipped it over the crossbar. A, a miraculous save, I must say. Well, the only thing that was missing there from uh, Glenson Superman Prince was the cape. He was going up there in <laughs> spectacular fashion. <laughs> well, it's a corner kick to Team Sinkis Davis. Elliot again on the left side of the field. He has been having a brilliant night. This one comes across flat inside of the area. A tussle for it. It's still with Sinkis Davis trying to go wide. It's going to be cleared of field. Yes. About now a blocking foul there by Elliot this time around on Lee of Dominica. And it's going to be a dead ball situation to Dominica just inside the defensive half on the right side. So the score remains uh, three goals to nil in favor of team Senkis Nibis and we'll give you uh, the time when those goals were scored. I can tell you one was actually an own goal by Dominica that one came in the, in the first, second, second minute, minute uh, and John will tell you about the other two. Yeah, we had Romain Sawyer scoring from the penalty spot in the 17th minute and then the third goal was scored by Atiba Harris in the 27th minute. So at pretty regular intervals you had goals being scored. Well, here is Kenny Baptiste of Dominica, shifts that one to Hubert Prince uh, in the defensive line for Dominica. They're trying to come forward. The ball bubbling around inside of the area now. One by Sawyer. Sawyer to the left side of the field. Finds the man Ark. Orlando Ark is trying to beat the man on the inside. Gets away. It's been held back somewhat outside of the area. And what's going on there? <laughs> well, allowing the ball to break free. Hoping that there was going to be a call by the referee. There was no call, in fact. And the ball just lumbered around inside for the custodian to come, Glenston Trinch, and pick that one up. Do you realize the danger of refereeing the game for yourself? <laughs> You're not the one with the whistle. I think most Continue coaches would play. tell you, keep on playing until you hear keep the whistle. Playing. Not that time by Akron. By the time he recognized what was happening, it was too far gone. He couldn't do anything at all to save uh, face. Well... Here is Leader. Leader deep in the defense of St. Kitts Navy. Picked up there by Thomas. Thomas goes to the right side. He finds O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin boots it inside. Looking for Ark to find in two. No, it was Elliot, in fact. Goes to the right side. Finds a Tiba. Tiba chips that one over. Looking for a speedy player there. Not getting there. The ball being touched across the eastern touchline uh, by Hubert Prince. And it will be a throw in to Team St. Kitts Navy. very deep in the defensive half of Dominica. Sinky Sneef is now trying to slow it down. Now Lachlan picks that one up. Uh, or tries on one touch pass to Atiba, not getting there. He's still a Lachlan again on the right side. Finds Thomas. Thomas trips it forward. He finds <laughs> Atiba Harris, who had gone ahead of the play and been flagged offside. Just went a few inches forward, uh, dear John. Sinky is now trying to walk into position. Could they be tired from that outburst in this the first half? Well, maybe just regulating their pace a bit, realizing that uh, they are just less than eight minutes remaining in this half. Uh, they would no doubt try to control the ball for most of that remaining time. Uh, look to attack uh, at the special intervals and ensure that they at least maintain this goal line, score line if they don't uh, increase it by, by one or two more goals. Well, here they come. Just about the center line, finds him just and just on the left side with acres of space. He, he's dribbling forward, coming up the left side. Here's Ak on his left side. He finds him now, finds a bit of space. He gets behind the defense. It's Ak going forward, gets that one across. And good defensive work here being put in by Dominica Hubert Prince, getting it across the western touchline. 
and think it's Nevis. Now, perhaps we are going to get a substitution in the first half. The coach of Dominica not liking what was seen there. Uh, number 17. Yeah, he's, he's pulling out number 6, and number, number six. 17 is going in. Yeah, so he's Lawrence. taking out Calvin Lawrence, and Lawrence is being substituted by the number 17 player. And that's Dalton Bannis. So Lawrence giving way to Bannis. Dalton Bannis going in for Kervin Lawrence. Well, Bannis, let us see if Bannis can make a difference for Dominica. We are hoping he can. They're already three goals down and put under some pressure there. Was and just got away from some two players. Picked up there by Ak. He goes wide, finds O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin with a bit of space, turns that one inside. A uh, uh, for it. They cut out there by Malcolm Joseph. Picked up by Kenny Baptiste of Dominica. Now he's trying to release the player on the left side of the ball field. The ball being headed down by O'Loughlin quite easily. And now he comes forward, trying to overlap on that right side. No, picked up by Elliot. Devon Elliot with it on the left side, trying to get past some two players. It Devon turns that one inside, looking for Sawyer. And Sawyer was caught flat footed on that occasion. Picked up, no doubt, by the man Atiba Harris. He just shot and got a snap kick and not really powerfully struck. And the goalkeeper, Glenston Prince, was able to come across quite easily in the end and pick that one up. Well, well he's my man of the match as far as Dominica goes. He has really beat me to work overtime, even though we're still in the first half. <laughs> we're two goals to nail still here at one park and we're still into the first half. This one headed down there by Robinson, an infringement call on Robinson. Robinson, he was holding the player down, holding the number seven, in, in, in fact, down on that occasion. That was Wade, and he was called for the infringement. Lee standing over that one, and then number 17. The man that just came on, Dalton uh, Bannis. Oh, Dalton Bannis. Dalton Bannis is the man on, and he is going to show us what he has. Uh, he boots that one over the goalkeeper, being put under some pressure. He, he comes uh, off his mark and in the end takes that one aloft and quite easily. And now he looks around, waiting for his players to retreat. He knows his team is up by some three goals to nail. Uh, 42 minutes into the game, Team think it's Nibis really coasting here in the first half. St. Just with it. Coming up on the left side, looking to go forward. He turns it inside, finds at Mitchell at back back to St. Just. St. Just looking for Art, not really moving there. Hey, St. Just picks up the errant pass there by Dominica. Breaks on the inside. Finds the man Thomas. Uh, Thomas unable to control it. The ball ushered across the western touchline there by Dalton Bannis. And it will be a throw into team. St. Kitts is very deep in the defense cloud. Taken very quickly. Finds the man at Mitchum. He turns it to the left side. He finds St. Just. St. Just gets behind the defense. He says St. Just still working his way behind the defense. A bit of a push in there on St. Just, but play continues. He he comes, he wins that one. He's really working hard. Finds Elliot, chips it one over, a bit of a handball. No, no call on that play. The ball booted into the defense of Sinkis. Picked up there by leader. On to the right side. Finds a lock lane. It's Sinkis Nivis again, trying to put on the tap together. Here is going to be a challenge down the left side of the field. Sinkis defense collapsing. Here is Dominica looking for their first goal. Being challenged. He's going to get there. He's falling. He's slipping. He's sliding. And easily taken in the end there by a lock lane. The ball is with Atiba. He's circling this one down, easily boots it across the eastern touchline. The player who was slipping and sliding, he goes to the turf. He's going to receive some treatment of some sort there, uh, um, Samuels. Some good sportsmanship indicated there by Atiba Harris. He realized that a Dominican player was down, and he opted to put the ball across the touchline. <laughs> I can tell you that there are one or two persons who might not have gone for ah. that. They might have said, hey, when you've got your opponent down, down keep him down. Keep him down. <laughs> but that time he displayed yeah. a great sportsmanship, just slotted the ball across the touchline. And the physiotherapist has been called into action again. Uh, so uh, maybe two or three minutes would be added on to this first half because of the interruptions that we would have seen on, on numerous occasions. Uh, perhaps they might. And, uh think it's Nevis will be relishing the position that they're in at this time. They have played really, really well. They, they have controlled the, the, the midfield. They have shifted the ball from left to right, spreading the play wide. They have been cutting through the center. Uh, it's a totally different think it's Nevis team as compared to Wednesday evening when we saw them up against St. Lucia. Most definitely. And I could tell you one fan who would be extremely pleased at what has been happening here this evening would be Lulu. This morning she <laughs> called in and she said uh, St. Kitts is going to give Dominica five goals to nil. Well, well, uh, well. GQ and Monarch and so on who are hosting the program, they thought she was crazy. 
Well, Lulu. But there will be on halfway. There will be on halfway already. <laughs> well, let us see if St. Just can get another goal. Here's William turning it back, looking for Robinson. Robinson be put under pressure and having to clear. Gets that one across the western touchline. And it will be a throw into Dominica very close to the center. Well, just on the center line on the right side of the field, taken by Banis. Banis with it. Looking around somewhat, throws that one now, looking for St. Just. Uh, Baptiste. Baptiste being challenged there by the man Robinson is still Baptiste going around and trying to shot. <laughs> that one came from downtown. It was flat and hard, and the goalkeeper really not having much of a problem. It was flat, but he was right in position to collect that one. Well, there was nothing to lose from Banis. His team is trailing by three goals to nil. Why not take a shot and hope to surprise the goalkeeper for Team St. Kitts Nevis? Unfortunately for him, unfortunately for Dominica, Archibald ready to well. Well, here comes Thomas. Zephaniah Thomas in, in the middle of the field. That one being allowed to go for Robinson. St. Kitts Nevis trying to build. Going across the center line on the left side is St. Joss. He cuts on the inside looking for Ak. Ak trying to control. Turns it back. Find Gerard Williams. He boots it all the way back to the custodian in goal in Jolani. Chest that one down. Has a lot of space in defense. Jolani rolls it out. He finds leader. Trizan leader goes wide. He finds uh, a Tiba. Tiba turns it back. Finds Zephaniah Thomas. Chips that one over. Looking for a speedy Atiba up at the right side. Being put under some pressure. A bit of a push there. Ball being turned back. Finds the man. <laughs> a tackle being put in there on, on Atiba. At the last moment, a card being shown by the referee. A very dangerous play there on the professional soccer player in the US of A for Sinkis Nibis, Atiba Harris. Uh, not liking it. This, this Wayne Walker, like the one uh, coming in with a crazy tackle. I, I said crazy because of the way in which it was taken. Uh, you could see that there was vicious intent in the way in which it was executed. And the St. Kitts Nevis player went down, was grabbing onto his ankles, that part of the foot that could be very, very difficult, delicate. And in the 45th minute of play, uh, Wayne Walker picking up a yellow card for Dominica. Well, here's Elliot. Elliot is going to swing that one across, and <laughs> up goes the head, the goalkeeper. He has the reach of hands, and and been able to latch on to it. A bit of a push in there. It's going to be a dead ball situation. A goalkeeper going up and being uh, pushed somewhat. And so it's a dead ball situation. The score still remains three goals to nil, and we are already into extra time here at Warner Park. Sawyer turns it inside. He finds Gerard Williams of Sinkis Nevis. Finds uh, Orlando Mitchum. Turns it further inside. Finds Williams. Williams chips at one over. Looking for the overlapping play. And Devon Elliott is going to try and uh, cut into a side. The center. This one comes across and just shaves the crossbar and goes all the way over to the western side. Goalkeeper not being able to do anything about that. And no player really closing down on that blind side. It was taken perhaps uh, a bit too quickly. Well, here is Dominica trying to build, and it's taken there by St. Just. St. Just trying to control. He does so. It's still St. Just looking for some support. And what we are going to have is this an infringement? Yes. An infringement, infringement. against number 18 for Dominica. That's Lee. That's Mr. Lee. That's Lee, Niley Lee. And there you have it now, the whistle for the end of the first half. And we're going to the first half. We think it's Nevis leading Dominica by some three goals to nil. And those goals are all told. An own goal in the second minute, in the 17 minute, it was a penalty kick by Romain Sawyer that went to the right of the goalkeeper. And although he left in that direction, he was a bit too late. And then it was a Tiba Harris that picked up a, a, a free ball inside of the penalty area. And he struck it one time along the ground in expert fashion into the back of the net. Three goals unanswered by Dominica, uh, the Republic of Dominica, is it? The Second half, we just about to start, Charles. Well, it's off and it's Dominica take, taking it back to uh, the defense. Uh, looking for Kenny Baptist, but he gets the return pass. He's still in his own half. He goes for a diagonal pass. In easily intercepted by St. Joss. He now finds a, a Tiba on the left side, turns it inside, looking for some movement inside, not getting there. Uh, picked up by uh, Baptiste on the, at that far side, number seven, going through, cutting through on, the, on that right side. Wade, Wade tries to get that one across and he wins the corner kick. It comes off a, a defender and it will be the first corner kick of the second half. Uh, Dominique uh, uh, getting down on that right side. Let us see what they can make of this. 
Uh, can they pull one goal back for the Commonwealth uh, of Dominica? And they have not yet scored in this tournament. This one comes across uh, a looping cross and it goes all the way across to the Western touchline. And it will be a throw in to Team St. Kisnevis. The score still remains two goals to nil. Uh, an infringement called against Thomas. It's going to be a dead ball situation, perhaps a, a handball outside of the area. And so Dominica will have another opportunity. Can they get their opening goal for this tournament? They are down by trailing by some <laughs> three goals to nil. And we see Kenny Batiste would come across now and take it that one with the right boot. He's on the left side of the field and he's electing to take it with the right boot. So he's going to dip that one inside of the box. And here's the goalkeeper being put under some pressure. And uh, that one headed down uh, across the goal line and outside of the upright. And it will be a goal kick to Team Senkis. But some pressure there for Jelani Archibald uh, Essington. And he'll have to be careful with those dipping crosses. Well, it's a very encouraging start for the visiting Dominican team. Um, they have been able to get a corner. They had one corner in the first half and very early in this, the second half, they were really... Um, gotten a, a corner and creating some pressure in this the second half so very encouraging start <coughs> well here they come again the ball is on to the head of St. Joss uh, team think is trying to con control this one booted forward looking for Elliot Elliot on the far side a, a bit of a tussle and the ball headed across the goal and it's going to be the first corner kick for team think it's to be taken from the right side of the field and uh, Devon Elliot might be taken he is the man he's going to take it with the left boot probably dip that one inside of the penalty area we see some jostling around inside of the penalty area this one comes flat and across and the goalkeeper being put under some some pressure and getting that one over the crossbar it's going to be another corner kick to team sinkers davis but essington that one was really close there in dropping into the back of the net yes um goalkeeper did very well indeed um, in the end, reading the flight of the ball and, and coming up with a very good save. Um, this one comes across once more and a flying header gets that one down past the eastern upright. Uh, another flying header there, this time by Robinson, uh, flicking that one on and it went past the eastern upright and across the goal line for the goal kick to Dominican. Yes, thank you, and uh, again creating some pressure on, on the Dominican defense. Um, but in this first half, it was, it was um, almost one-way traffic towards the Dominican goal. The Dominica having a very good start. Let's see what, what they can do. They are down three goals to nil. Uh, here, I think he's trying to build this one. Comes across and taken away by Dominica, but being put under some pressure on the far side. Here, they turn that one inside, looking for Baptiste. Baptiste, a one-touch pass, looking for the man under Western Flam. Picked up there by O'Loughlin. Turns it inside, finds Gerard Williams for Sinkis Nevis. Turns it back, finds Robinson. Sinkis trying to get going in this the second half. St. Joss goes back to Robinson. Robinson turns it inside, finds Gerard Williams. All Sinkis Nevis goes to the right side. Finds Errol O'Loughlin. He's circling that one down. Finds Elliot. Elliot turns it inside. Finds Sawyer. Sawyer is trying to get away from the defense. Finds Elliot overlapping on that right side. He's streaking down on that right side, going to the close corner flag looking to cut on the inside gets away from the player no he goes across the goal line for a goal kick to the commonwealth of dominica but that one looked like sink came alive <laughs> you know and trying to split the defense trying a diagonal pass got it through but it was closed down by the defense of dominica now what is very noticeable as far as sink is concerned they're using the width of the field very much and stretching the dominican defense and making it a bit porous so it's easy for us to think it's um work front runners to get behind the defense and they've been doing that and 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 on much occasion getting on many occasions getting behind the dominican defense and creating some trouble where well, here is a lock thing a lock thing on top of the what a close move there finds gerard williams sink his nippies, turns it on the right side looking for some support turns that one inside looking for a lock thing finds him two here is a a diagonal pass finds the man at Tebow on that far left side. He cuts on the inside quite easily. He's lining up a powerful right booter from way downtown. And that one blocked back across the eastern touchline, just inside the defensive half of the Commonwealth of Dominica. And Sinkis Nevis will take that one quickly. Gerard.
Brad Williams hits it back, finds St. Joss. He takes that one down, chips it over, looking for some movement on the top, finds a Tiba. Tiba turns it back, looking for uh, some more movement there by Sawyer, unable to control it, and gives it away in the process. Dominica will try to come away with it. They're on the right side of the field, looking for the number seven, finding to Wade. Wade, unable to control a bit of a tussle. The ball goes across the eastern touchline, does it? And it looks as though it's in fact an infringement against Dominica just inside the defensive half on that far right side. The score remains here at Warner Park. And we are into the second minute, six minutes into the second. It's our 51 minutes now into the game. And it will be a throw in to Team St. Kitts Navy. This is still three goals to nil Essington, but we see a more purposeful Dominica coming out. Yes, in the second very half. much so. Very encouraging start by Dominica. And St. Kitts, on the other hand, I've seen a few fancy flicks and tricks um, that, that, that is too early we need, we need, we need, I would need to see a professional approach by, by the Kittitians um, maintain possession, retain possession and um, um, very importantly they have to keep a, a clean sheet tonight mm. but, well somewhere along the line the game is going to open up in the second half because Dominica is not going to go down just like that they're going to have to try and score in this particular game, probably evening things up uh, a little later. Well, Good. He, and Saint Kitts wouldn't mind at all. Saint Kitts, well, here comes the free kick. This one comes across to the blind side, headed down. A bit of a pushing in the small of the back, and the referee being applauded there for the call by the defender. Referees don't like that, <laughs> <laughs> but nevertheless, the play continues. Here's yeah. the one breaking down on the far right side, headed across the western touchline. Yes, yes, Saint. Yeah, what Saint Kitts would need to do is to invite the Dominicans to come. Um, contain the Dominicans and then counter and conquer. Um, but they need a professional approach. Keep a clean sheet and add to the advantage. Well, let us see if they can do just that in the second half. There's two goals to nil. And we are some uh, 54 minutes now into the game. This one chest down there by Gerard Williams of St. Kitts. Gets it across the western touchline. He has been playing and playing his trade in Trinidad and Tobago for one of those uh, prof semi-professional teams up there. Here he boots that one down the center of the field, picks up uh, Tiba Harris. He eases it across to the right side, finds Thomas. Thomas is trying to go forward. He's still Thomas, a bit of a, a pushing the ball, being laid back for the defense of Dominica, intercepted there by Gerard Williams, chips it to the left side of the field, looking for Sawyer. Sawyer is trying to break on that far left side. Ball now goes across the eastern touchline for it's throwing to sink. It's halfway in the defensive half of Dominica, taken very quickly. Turn back, finds Zephinaya Thomas, finds a Tiba Harris back to Thomas. Is sink his Navis back into a Tiba Tiba trying to turn a bit of a tussle and a push there. But it's still Atiba being brought somewhat to the, the turf, but the play continues. Sink his Navis with it, goes across the center of the field, finds uh, at Mitchum. Goes to the far right, finds a Lachlan, he turns it inside, finds uh, Mitchum. Mitchum turns it back, he finds Leader. Leader chips that one over, looking for Sawyer, uh, but well negotiated there by the defense of uh, Dominica. Uh, Joseph, in fact, allowing that one to go through to the custodian, who picks it quite up quite easily. This one tackled across the eastern touchline there by St. Just. It will be a dead ball situation. It will be a throwing, in fact, to uh, Dominica. They are still looking to ease up on that right side. St. Just is on that right side. He boots it once more across the eastern touchline. Just inside the defensive half of St. Kitts. It will be another throwing to Dominica. They seem to have settled down quite quickly in this the second half. Uh, applying a new sort of strategy of slowing things down and possessing the ball more. Uh, that is what it seems to be happening. Uh, here comes Dominica again down the right side, looking to go forward. Intercepted there by Atiba. Chips that one over. Looks for Sawyer. Sawyer is trying to shield that one, looking for support. Heals it back, looking for the return pass. It cannons into a midfielder and goes across the eastern touchline for a throw in to Team St. Nevis. Here they are, just inside the defensive half of Dominica. Turn back to St. Just. St. Just looking for some space in defense. Turns it inside, finds Robinson. A bit of a tussle. This could be dangerous. He turns it inside. Here is Ak giving it away. An infringement called, in fact, against Dominica in the middle of the field. It's on St. Just, in fact. He's down. And it will be a dead ball situation. Now coming to his feet, uh, number two St. Just on the left side. And so St. Kitts will control that one in the middle of the field it's with robinson 
the score still remains uh, three goals to nil and Dominica still hoping to press forward but I think it's holding on tightly in defense here comes Robinson Robinson finds Sawyer Sawyer chips it flicks it to the right side he picks out uh, O'Loughlin quite easily Yoxin chips that one forward sort of giving it away here comes Sawyer he's already on the top <laughs> And he's really gesticulating there. He felt he had already made pace up on the top of the field. I remember he made the pass all the way down here. Uh, an infringement call against Sawyer. And it will be a dead ball situation to Dominica. Number three in Joseph. Malcolm Joseph will take it. He boots that one to the, the left side. He's looking for Dennis. Not getting there. Picked out on the top of the box here. They're coming forward. Is Dominica going down on the left side. He's being closely marked. There a bit of a tussle on the ball. And the ball going across the goal line good defensive work been put in there by trees and leader uh, uh, just ushering that one across the goal line uh, shielding it well in the process and it will be a goal kick to team sink it's nitty center yes she's a leader uh, so she would be the one of the most experienced player out there maybe the player with the most caps for sink is out there in the field right now um, she's a leader a very experienced defender who plays for the St. Paul's team but well, just to remind you, if you're just joining us, in the first game, St. Lucia defeated Guyana two goals to, to nil. A very professional and clinical um, work by the um, St. Lucians to get their first full three points. But here comes Senkitz. Senkitz now trying to get that one. Finds Devon Elliott inside of the penalty area. Can he get away? Turns it back. Looking for some support. He can't touch the ball again. <laughs> Standing in an offside position there. And it was Devon Elliott trying to feed that one back to London Akmisham. Not being able to control it inside of the penalty area. And then at all. And um, if we referee Monto Montero Araya from Costa Rica um, rightfully uh, calling a call against him blowing the whistle against him but he's saying it's now looking to build from well I think it's Nevis with it on the right side looking for O'Loughlin O'Loughlin losing out on that one they're still with it on the right side a tosser picked up there by Mitchum Mitchum getting the free ball coming across the center of the field a bit of a pushing is still Mitchum Mitchum still having the ball and not being chipped from behind and it will get the free kick just outside of the penalty area. Team Sink is on the right side of the field. And so it's still a 3 nil situation. And this one comes across very quickly. Surely the ref is going uh, to, to ask for it to be retaken. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the defense was being set here by Dominica. And there was Devon Elliott. There's a hammer that one across the face of the goal and looking for the advantage. Yes, referee. Rightly calling back the play. Calling back the play. It's going to be Devon Elliott again. And we know he's very skillful at dipping this one at the far corner. He's quite adept at, at doing that sort of kick. He has practiced it for many a year. And let us see what he can do from this. The right side of the field. Taking it with the left boot and we try to dip it to the far corner. Uh, the custodian in, in Glenston uh, Prince will have to be very careful. Well, he's the captain and he has been having a very good game. So let us see what will happen on this occasion. Here is Sinkis Nibis trying to get their foot goal. This one goes across and oh my word, that one went just dipping over the crossbar. The sort of kick had the, the, the goalkeeper in all sorts of trouble. He did not know what was happening there and it just went a few inches over the crossbar, Essington. Yes, whenever um, Elliot got, get, get, gets on that, on that free kick, uh, there's always a, a sense of anticipation. He's very adept, as I said, very adept at kicking those um, curling, swerving, dipping balls and almost um, bringing off a brilliant goal here. I think it's ready to make a change. I think it is poised to make a change. You see my number eight. Um, Atiba is coming out. Atiba? At yeah. Well, the golden boot of Atiba, he has scored one goal tonight. He, he plays professional soccer in the U.S. of A. Uh, you have the team that he plays for. I, I guess he's a very expensive player and <laughs> not wanting to be injured at all. He, he has done his service for the night. Well, this one comes across a square looking for Dennis. Dennis is trying to go forward. No, the play continues. This one comes across the goalkeeper. We put under some pressure. And this one goes across the, the goal line. And oh my word, think it's defense not collapsing fast enough there and almost giving up a first goal in this tournament. 
but the ball goes to the far side it's going to be another corner kick to the commonwealth of dominica and the defense of sinkers will have to be very very careful uh the dominican team definitely has come up with a different strategy in this the second half yes in time. very much so a different approach don't know what was said in, in the dressing room the halftime um team talk in the dressing room it would have been um something that would have pepped up the dominican the player is down so you're not missing any football at all a dominican player is down and he's getting some medical attention um just to remind you that think it's um scored in the third minute in the 17th minute and in the 27th mi minute and really was a shell shock experience for the dominant a few minutes well it's corner kick dominica looking for the first goal this one goes to the blind side and it eludes all uh, players and goes across to the western touchline a bit of a gesticulating there on the part of kenny baptiste and uh think it's Davis will take that one very deep in the defensive half on the right side it's still three goals to nail in favor of team saying it's nevis uh, those goals all come in in the first half uh, one was an own goal by dominica and the other two was one from the penalty spot in the 17 minute from the boot of romaine sawyer and then atiba harris uh, made it good in just about the uh, we get the time for you for a team but the 27 the minutes, minutes. Uh, made it good for sink his name is getting some three goals here they are thomas with it goes to the left side he finds st just and just cuts to the center he finds uh williams williams goes a diagonal pass he finds uh, uh Ack. orlando mitchum another diagonal pass to the far side picks out the man quite easily devon elliott trying to cut on the inside holding on to the ball too long and now being taken away and booted not too far but onto the head of robinson finds sawyer sawyer settles down just about the center circle a square pass he finds mitchum mitchum just about the center line on the right side goes far finds sawyer sawyer turns it back he finds a lock lane a lock lane goes through the center then finds sawyer on the far right side finds a bit of space to looking up now trying to get that one beats the man quite easily takes it on the left foot tries a shot on goal it's been blocked there by the defense a bit of a tosser the player goes to the ground and it will be a, a throwing to uh, dominica the number four came across that was hubert prince and he was putting in some a challenge there and sawyer and Sawyer was unable to control the ball, got it across the Western touchline in the defensive half of Dominica, and so it will be a throw. And the score remains uh, three goals to nil, still in favor of St. Kitts in Nevis. This one thrown in finds the number seven, number seven in Wade, unable to control it. Picked up by a Lachlan, he turns it back, he finds Trizan leader of St. Kitts Nevis, goes square, finds the central defender number five, Robinson, goes further to the left side, he finds St. Just, he's all St. Kitts Nevis, looks up, looking for some support, he still St. Just, turns it forward, finds Thomas, Thomas goes further to the right side, he looks for the man on the outside right turn back to St. Just, St. Just goes back to Robinson, it's all Sinkis Nevis controlling it in the back line, the Dominicans standing off and just looking at the ball being passed around from left to right, here is the man, uh, O'Loughlin, he finds Sawyer, Sawyer turns it inside, finds Tizan, Tizan leader, he's trying to muscle up one, he's still uh, arm Titian, he turns it back, he finds Sawyer, Sawyer with it, now ease it to the left side of the field, finds a a a tries to go through the legs of uh, Batiste, not really getting there, and picked up by Wade, Wade with it for Dominica, still in its own half, uh, dancing around, looking for support, now boots it, not getting it very far, picked up there by trees and a bit of a pushing in the small of the back, on the on O'Loughlin, in fact, just about the center line, on this, the right side of the field, right beneath us, as in them. So we saw that one quite clearly. But this one, yes. This is very good professional football by Kittishan. They need to just retain possession. Um, let the, the, the Dominicans um, chase after shadows and get the legs tired and, and heavy, and then space would start to appear in the field, which they can, which they, which they can exploit. Um, they don't need to, to, to rush to for another it. goal. Yes. They don't need to force it. That's the best way. They don't need <laughs> to force it. They just need to relax and re retain possession, get the Domin Dominicans tired, and when the legs are heavy and, 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 and and tired they can really exploit the situation uh, okay. let us see if they'll follow your advice here comes in just turns that one inside he finds gerard williams who has taken over the captaincy here picked up by Tristan leader he goes straight he finds it just and just with it now in the central defensive position he sent just he seemed to be everywhere find thomas he flicks that one on he's looking for titian hanley not being able to control it the ball breaks to the far right side looking for some help over there one by dominica they're coming forward down on the right side still inside the defensive half 
half. Cut inside, finds Kenny Baptiste. The ball intercepted quite easily there by St. Kitts Nevis. The game now opening up in St. Turn. The legs are getting heavy. We are into the second half. Here comes St. Just coming up the set. Beats a man quite easily. Is St. Just going around the defender? Passes it off. Finds Thomas. Thomas goes back. Just about the center circle is all St. Kitts Nevis. A square ball to the far right side. Onto the tress of a Lachlan. Checks it down. Find leader. Leader finds Sawyer who have come back in the middle of the field. Finds the man Ack. Oh, Watson playing here by Sawyer. Turns it inside. Find Tishon. One touch pass. Ships it over. Find Tishon on the far side. He's going to try a left put to have a eye. And really and truly. Some 15 passes there by Sinkis and Tishon. Picking that one up outside of the area. Really hammered it. But when Sky was, this is an American goal <laughs> in football. This, this is soccer. It's not American football. It yes. Very high over. That's but a... the play, the, the movement of the ball and the movement of the players from Sinkis Nevis, it was really something to see. Great, great mobility, great movement off the ball and on the ball. And very exciting stuff. But the last ball here, the last touch was um, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> uh, it's difficult to imagine a player getting the ball so high in the sky after trying to get um, between those two poles. But here he's saying it's with the ball in, in, the, in the own defense that the ball goes way back to the goalkeeper. Deep back in defense have to be very cautious. Shifts it to the right side, finds a Lachlan who is wide. He turns it back. He finds Chizan. Chizan put under some pressure, turns it wide. He finds Robinson. He does think it's Nevis in the own defense. Coming out of defense is Elliot. Elliot having a very good game tonight. Trying to find that play overlapping on that left side. Two players streaking down on the left side. This one pass back to the custodian in Glenston Prince. He ushers it to the right side, finds Hubert Prince. Uh, perhaps his brother, perhaps a cousin. This one given away there momentarily by Dominica. Turns to the inside, finds Kenny Baptiste. Baptiste goes wide. He's looking for some air, but picked off the air by Sawyer. Sawyer passes it to the center. This could be dangerous. Uh, and good defensive work being put in there by D Dominica at the last moment. But uh, it looked a very, very dangerous there. Interception there by Sawyer. And he ushered that one forward looking for at Mitchum, but he was unable to control it, Essington. And the defense of Dominica was able to collapse and, and usher that one away. Yes, um, very, it, lo it looked very promising um, for St. Kitts Nevis, but um, there's still three goals to name. But, said, but they're doing just as we, we expect them to do, um, play posse possession football, and knock the ball around, and as I said, just look for the openings. Well, they're doing just that. This one who sent just on the left side finds Elliot. Elliot looking up, looking for some support, turns it inside, finds Williams, Gerard Williams, the captain now, passes it to the right side, he finds, ah, 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 goes for the, to the right side, finds the overlapping Lachlan, who gets behind the defense, now he's spinning up on the right side, gets that one across, flat, this could be a chance and goal inside there, can he take the shot, no, it was defended there by the defense of Dominique Hubert and the other boys there, Malcolm, Malcolm Joseph, getting that one out of harm's way, and the ball being ushered to the far right side, to be taken by Dominica. But another opportunity for Sink is to see the movement of the ball. Yes, very quick, very precise passing by the Kittishans and um, really um, pulling the, the Dominicans out of position. Here they are now, looking to go forward again. Well, here they are on the right side with O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin turns back. Look for support, finds, uh, uh, goes back looking for uh, O'Loughlin spinning up on the right side, going forward a bit of a tussle. And the ball goes across the western touchline. It will be a throw in to Dominica. Uh, and that time O'Loughlin could not catch up with that particular pass. And so it will be taken very quickly by Dominica. Throws in, find a Baptiste. Number 10 picks it up. That's Parker. Parker trying to control the ball, eludes O'Loughlin. Goes across the western touch line. It's going to be a throw in to Dominica, the number 15 in Lockhart. We have not seen much of Lockhart. Uh, picked up here by the number 13 now. That's Walker. Walker turns it back. Finds um, Malcolm. Malcolm Joseph with it. Looking for some support. Turns it back. Finds Hubert Prince. Prince with it. Chips it into the center field. Finds Parker. Parker, number 10, is looking up. Looking for support. He's looking for his number 15. Is still Parker. Parker now finds number 15 on the far right. That's Lockhart, who is trying to <laughs> go down the left side of the field. And ball eludes him and goes across the western touchline for a throwing uh, to Team St. Kitts Nevis. The score remains three goals to nil here at Warner Park. And we have seen some 25 minutes or so, 70 minutes already gone in tonight's game. And St. Kitts holding on to a 3 nil margin. They have played some brilliant foot soccer here in the second half. Position soccer opening up the spaces. Here is Elliot. 
trying to go forward an infringement called against Tishan Hanley in fact and the the ball is going to be retaken just inside the defensive half from the right side and Essington I think the Dominicans will have quite a bit of work to do if they are to come back in tonight's game lots of work it's really an uphill battle for the Dominicans to come back into this game there are three goals down as we said the three goals were scored in the in the third minute in the 17th minute and the 27th minute and just to remind you that in the first game um St. Lucia defeated um, Guyana by two goals to nil um, a very professional clinical um, job there by the St. Lucians and uh, they're getting the first three three full three points uh, of, of this tournament St. Kitts there are three goals up and looking very good Right here, I think it's with it. The ball being turned into leader. Leader still in his own defensive half. Passes it off. Find a Lachlan. Lachlan looking for Sawyer. Finds him too. One touch pass. Finds leader. Leader back to O'Loughlin on the right side. You're laughing over on the right side. Finds Hanley. Hanley back to O'Loughlin. He beats the man on the inside. He turns it inside out looking for Sawyer. Not getting there. The ball picked up in the middle of the field by the number 14 in Baptiste. That's Kenny Baptiste. And now he goes forward. Intercepted quite easily there by St. Joss. Picks it off. Finds uh, the man Elliot. Elliot finds Sawyer. Sawyer chips it forward. He finds Mitchum. Mitchum turns it inside. Finds Hanley. Hanley leaves it for Mitchum. Beats one. Beats two. And the ball has been taken away there again by Kenny Baptiste. Turn all the way back to the custodian in goal, Glenston Prince. And now he rolls it off to the right side. Malcolm Joseph picks it up. Goes to the far right side. It's Dominica now trying to build from their own defensive half. Bit of a pushing in the small of the back, holding on to that one still. Going across to the right side, he finds his number uh, 13. Pushing forward is still Walker. Here is Parker with it inside the attacking half now. Parker, a diagonal pass looking to feed the man through. And the custodian in Archibald comes off his marker quite smartly uh, and picks that one up. He goes down inside of the area. He has to release that ball. And it looked as though the referee is going to come. It looks as though some sort of nipping of the heels or the, the shin there took place a few moments ago. And now uh, it's Julani Archibald hobbling about inside of the penalty area. The score still remains three goals to nil in favor of teams St. Kitts and Nevis. And we see Robinson would take, in fact, the, the free kick inside of the area he takes it now he takes it short and now hammers it up the left side of the field looking for tishan finds him too tishan with a, a strong challenge from the man there joseph turn on the outside find uh, saint joss saint joss find thomas goes back on the left side finds saint joss he's trying to go up the left side turns with it looking for support finds the man in the middle of the field gerard williams he's thinking he's trying to go forward Jerry swivels and turn goes on the outside finds a lachlan lachlan turns it inside finds mitchum he's thinking it's a diagonal pass on the top of the box looking for titian handy standing in an offside position on the top of the penalty area and flagged by the assistant referee on the right side of the field yes the assistant referee um, had his flag up very quickly indeed we, we have the 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 referee and the man in control for tonight is Ricardo Montevo Araya from from Costa Rica and we have assistant number one referee the assistant referee number one well, here is Trizan leader trying to get around the defense and giving away the ball in the process. Here's Lockhart with a chance here. Outside of the boxes is, is, is the man still Lockhart on the left side of the box. He's still Lockhart looking for some support. He's going back into the middle of the field. Turns it all the way back. Finds Hubert Prince. Prince goes straight looking for Joseph. Not finding Joseph. Who goes to the far right side taking the pressure of the Sinkis Nevis team. Now this one booted forward, intercepted quite easily by Sinkis. Standing around there. Sinkis seem to be walking now into place. Here they come, Thomas on the attack of front chips. That one over looking for Tishan who is speeding down in the area. The one headed back by Hubert Prince to Glenston Prince in goal. He rolls it to the right side. The score still remains some two goals to nil. It's booted up the right side picked up there by Robinson not liking what I'm seeing now from sink it seemed to be just standing around and playing around now they're leading by some three goals to nil not going forward 
Infringement called against Dominica, taken very quickly by Sink. This one booted up the left side of the field, picked up there by Tishan. Tishan trying to control, not being able to control it, being bungled off the field, off the ball, in fact, by Malcolm Joseph. Uh, taken very quickly by Sinkis. Devon Elliott picks it up, goes wide. They're walking into place now. Turns that one to the left side. Finds a powerful left boot right to the back of the net. Oh, what a strike by Thomas from outside the penalty area. He hammered it with the left boot. That's Zephaniah Thomas made it good and hammered it into the back of the net. It went into the left side of the goal. What a tremendous shot. And coming from nowhere, it was a nice, easy pass. He looked up, realized he had some space, decided he was not going any further, took it powerfully with the left boot, and it rocketed into the back of the net. Sinkis Nevis now four goals to nil in their favor. What a strike by Zephaniah Thomas. What a strike indeed. I think the goalkeeper was very surprised. He didn't expect that. And it was a difficult angle to score from. Very difficult angle. But he had placements, he had pace, and goalkeeper was comprehensively beaten. He was nowhere to be found. Um, it was a very good kick indeed. Um, the element of surprise was, 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 was always there. As I said, goalkeeper didn't expect him to, to shoot from that distance and from that angle. But the placement was great, the pace was great, and goalkeeper was comprehensively beaten. Well, think it's really exhibiting some brilliant football here tonight. Well, let us see if they can get a fifth goal. This one in the center of the circle finds At Mitchum, goes to the left side, finds the man himself, St. Joss. He swivels and turns on the left side. He's going to take a uh, pace up on the left side. He's still going around the defense. He's still going <laughs> with it, St. Joss. And he, he's so fast and so skillful. And then finally, the ball went across the eastern touchline, halfway in the defensive half of the Dominica. Well, the score is four goals to nil in favor of St. Kitts and Nevis. Dominica still trying to get on the board the ball is with the number seven in Wade Wade goes around trying to move the ball intercepted by Sink is picked up there by St. Joss who has been everywhere he has just made a run up on the left side he's back in defense now for Sink sniffs the ball on the right side finds Sawyer Romain Sawyer looking for Devon Elliott he finds a bit of space on that right side he's trying to get around the defense he does so right now he goes to the corner flag he turns it back is anyone home no intercepted there by Hubert Prince of Dominica he rolls that one outside. He finds his number 14 in Kenny Baptist. No, that's Kimron Baptist on the right side. Looks inside a bit of a pushing on the part of Kenny Douglas. No, an infringement call. No, play continues. Picked up by Sawyer. So in the center circle, chips that one forward. He finds Devon Elliott who turns it inside. Finds Thomas, the goal scorer, the fourth goal. Picked up there by Elliot. He's all sink and sniff. He's inside of the circle. He's walking pace here now. Moving in position. He's sent just. Turns it inside. Finds Thomas. He's sent just. Thomas goes to the right side. He finds Ark. Turns it inside. A bit of a push in there. And the man handy. Picked up by sink and sniff. He's given away now. Here's Robinson going up with the head. And he is not going to mix matters. He, he heads it across the eastern touchline. Given a chance for the players to fall back in defense. We are having another substitution by Team Senkis Nevis. It looks as though the number 17 in Zephaniah Thomas will be taken out. <laughs> and he's jogging off at the eastern side. And on this side, we see the number 10 for Senkis coming in. That's Kenny Isles. <laughs> and he is now jogging on to the field of play. That's Kenny Isles formerly of the Newtown uh, team, I think, Kenny Isles. Um, okay. the, the fans from Sinkis will know him. I think he went somewhere around the Caribbean to ply his trade. Kenny Isles. He's in Trinidad as well, uh, uh, playing his soccer. Very skillful player. Uh, when I last saw him, let us see what he has here tonight. Here's Malcolm Joseph of Dominica with it. In defense, goes to the left side. He finds his number 13. He tries to control it, goes back to Malcolm, loses it, picked up there by Sinkis Nevis, Sawyer with it, turns it back, he finds Elliot, Elliot turns it inside, looking for some movement on the top of the box, here's Kenny Isles, <laughs> he chips it forward, he finds Sawyer, Sawyer looking for Kenny, he turns it back, he finds O'Loughlin, O'Loughlin finds Kenny, Kenny has a few players with him, he's very, very skillful, chips it over, finds Sawyer, Sawyer chips it, finds the man, Williams, Williams being bungled off the ball somewhat here, he's taken away by Parker, but intercepted easily there by Trizan Leader, he turns it to the right side, he 
don't think his name is fine. Kenny. Kenny heals it back. He finds Sawyer. Sawyer goes inside, finds Eli. Elliot goes on the outside. The ball deflects from a midfielder and goes across the western touchline but now you see the boxing of the ball by team St. Kitts Nevis uh, playing it around uh, boxing it around the uh, on the flank and, and looking quite skillful and, and professional doing it exactly and that's what that's what I need to do there's press sensible smart football no need to as you said force it no need to rush um there are four goals up um invite the Dominicans to come come for the ball they want the ball come for it and um they can easily exploit the situation um, they're in a very good position. Four goals still is St. Kitts Nevis, and um, we're just about 36 minutes have elapsed in this, the second half. Um, so about nine minutes or so to go um, to complete this game. So very good professional approach by St. Kitts Nevis. Well, here they come. Sawyer gets away from the defense, chipping it outside, looking for the man Kenny. Kenny not being able to latch on to that one, but here they come. The ball is with O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin cuts on the center of the field, finds Gerard Williams. He goes further wide. He finds the man St. Just. He chips that one inside. He's looking for the man speeding on the top. This could be dangerous. No, it, it loses him and goes across the goal line. Very good defensive work being put in there by Dominica. And it goes across the goal line for a goal kick to Dominica. The score remains four goals to nil in favor of Team St. Kitts Nevis. And here they come once more. A bit of a pushing in the small of the box. We are some uh, 92 minutes, are we? We had just about that. Uh, this is saying what? 30, 30 well, seven it minutes? could be 92 minutes, huh? 92. Well, 82 minutes. 82, what, what's, yes. what's 92? <laughs> isn't we'll be home already. Yeah. <laughs> it's 82 minutes into the game. Sink is Nevis leading by some four goals to nil here. Is Dominica still looking for their opener in this tournament? The ball being booted way back in the defense. And Edwards with it picks it up for Dominica on the right side. He turns. On the inside, he has acres of space. No real challenge there by, by Sinkitz. Here they are coming forward. On top of the box, could this be the chance? Dominica been looking for a boot, been stuck in a bit of a tussle for it. Picked up by St. John's. He releases it, finds Sawyer. Sawyer swivels and turn. He's looking for some support, finds the man quite easily. On the right side, here comes leader. Sinkitz Nevis trying to build. They're on the right side, find Kenny Isles. He beats one player on the inside. It's the Kennedy Isles. He turns it further inside, finds Elliot. Elliot goes outside, finds Sawyer. Sawyer takes one on the inside beats him two finds Kenny Kenny with it turns it back finds a Lachlan Lachlan looks for Elliot boxing that ball around chips that one over looking for the man speeding forward not getting there Sawyer comes from the midfield but the goalkeeper Glenson Prince picks that one up chips back into his area and it's Dominica deep in their defense with Glenston Prince, the captain. They are down by some full goals to nil. Can they come back tonight? A good crowd in Essington. You measure this to be somewhere in the region of probably four or 5,000 people in here at Warner Park tonight. Yes, four or 5,000, and we are looking um, for our next three, excess 3,000 on Sunday. Exactly. So close to, close to 10,000 we're looking for. Um, exactly, for to bring Sinkits home. Well, here they come. Trying to go forward here is leader clearing in the, the, that one up field. Here's Kennedy trying to get inside of the penalty area. Can he get inside? Cuts on the inside. Still has it under control. He lays that one back for Elliot. A little one touch pass. Looking for Elliot. Oh, finds the man on the outside left position. Here is he. Come he pass it into the back of the net. A tremendous strike there by Thomas. He scores his second goal. Oh, what a strike into the back of the net. And it's a celebration here at Warner Park. Sink it. A squad is fifth goal tonight. What a strike by the player from outside. Who is it? It's in fact, we're going to get the name for you. It's number 16 for Sinkins. And that is Josh Leader. Josh Leader just coming on as a substitute. Making it good with the left boot. Powerfully struck into the back of the net. Five goals to St. Kitts. Nil to the Commonwealth of Dominica. A real embarrassing situation for the Commonwealth of Dominica. Five nil here at Warner Park. We're still minutes in the game, Essendon. Five nil. Tremendous performance. And as as as, da, as St. Lucia did in the first game, a really professional and clinical um, performance by St. Kitts Nevis um, to get themselves this win. But here's Kong Dominica. Well, Dominica trying to get their opener. This one goes across. No, it skews off the boot and goes across the goal line. Over the goal line, it will be a goal kick to team St. Kitts Nevis. And oh, they probably can't wait for the final whistle to take them out of their misery here at Warner Park. 
Harper. A brilliant show of skill, exhibition of shooting here by Team Sinkis Nibis tonight. Well, here come Kennedy Isles. He's dribbling forward once more. Very skillful. Spreads that one to the right side. He finds Sawyer. Sawyer with a bit of room. Getting behind the defense. Squares that one across. The goalkeeper having to go full stretch. Almost the second own goal there by Dominica. That one came across. The custodian was caught in no man's land. His own defender, Hubert Prince, was trying to head that one away. Got it on target in his own goal. And Glenston Prince having to throw himself full stretch. May have injured himself in the process. But bringing off a spectacular save for Dominica. A very brilliant save uh, indeed. He's been overworked. He's been worked. Um, he, in the first half, he, he really uh, put, some, put in some overwork. But here comes uh, Dominica defending well. Well, Dominica trying to defend, gives it away in the process, gives it up. Here is Sinkis Olakin. Turns it back. He finds Girard. Girard with a bit of space there now. Just waiting for the final whistle, I guess it's Dominica. Wanted to be taken out of the misery. This one turned on the inside. Here is Sinkis Nibis trying to build. Still in the middle of the field. The fall for inside Sawyer. One touch pass looking for Sawyer. Not getting the return pass. And Dominica clearing that one deep into the fence of Sinkis. Picked up there by Robinson. He's trying to. It's still Robinson. Been pushed somewhat from behind. Wins it in the end. Finds O'Loughlin. He puts it inside. One touch pass by Sawyer. Finds William. Williams gives it away. No, picked up there by Devon Elliott. Very alert. Playing a full 90 minutes tonight. Picked up by Robinson. Goes to the left side. Finds St. Joss. St. Joss with it. Turns it inside. Finds Elliot. Elliot goes to the left side. Finds him just and just with a bit of space there. Just getting over the center circle, looking for the overlapping Josh Leader. Josh Leader on the left side, trying to get behind the defense. Can he reach it? Gets that one swinging across, but not really having uh, the technique to get it in field. Was trying to pace himself behind of defense, not getting there, and it cannon into the side netting. Yes, as I said, the technique was lacking, but very good idea. Took the ball towards the byline and looked to hook the ball back yeah. inside. We just didn't. He just didn't hook his foot uh, un enough around the ball and uh, was able to was unable, unable to get the ball in back inside to the danger area. We have five goals to nail still in favor of Sintis Nibis. <laughs> Here goes a play back into the defense of Dominica. Played all the way back in their defense, their own defense. And Glenston Prince plays it to the left side. Finds he with Hubert, finds uh, uh, Kenny Batiste. And number four, Hubert boots it long. Up go the head of Robinson. This one is a bit of a pushing outside of the area. The defense of Sink is trying to collapse. And does so now. A Lachlan boots that one up the right side of the field. A little anxious there. We saw Sink. It's on that occasion. They have to be very careful still. Have to be you, very they, careful. They need a clean sheet. They need a clean sheet. Clean sheet. Yeah. <laughs> Can't allow anything to happen. Uh, just a few minutes remaining. Well, it looks like we have two minutes remaining in the game here at Warner Park. It's five goals to nil in favor of Team St. Kitts Nevis. Here they come forward, O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin goes inside, finds Josh. Josh going forward. Picked up there by Williams. Williams finds... <laughs> Devon Elliott, a diagonal pass, finds the man free on the left side. Is he able to control that Sawyer, who has shifted to the, the far left side? Not yeah. been able to latch on to that one. Yeah, and that, that, that has been the hallmark of the St. Kitts Nevis game. They have used the flanks very well indeed, used the width of, of, of the game, and really stress, uh, stretch, stretch sorry, the Dominican defense when then it pours. Here, well, here they go, here they go again. Here they go, find the man Kennedy on the top of the box. He could have beaten him. Oh, what some fancy ball play here on the top of the box by Kennedy Isles. And the ball giving it away in the process. Here the man, Williams, bit of a pull, pulling him to the carpet. Well, now, now they can turn on the style with five goals. Five goals to nil. Five goals to nil <laughs> and just about two more minutes to go. They can, turn, they, they can do all the fancy tricks and can get fancy. He tries to curl that one around the goalkeeper, Kenny Prince. And there was the man, Titian Hanley, looking up, realized he had some space and trying something fancy, trying to curl it around in the far corner. Uh, the ball went wide of the eastern upright and it would be a goal kick to the Commonwealth of Dominica. So five yes, goals to nail here fourth, at one The fourth official just indicated that there are going to be three additional times ah, three for, additional. for stoppages. That's right. And so three additional minutes. Uh, the Commonwealth of Dominica soccer team probably thinking, uh, I can't wait 
for three minutes. It should be three seconds. <laughs> Can they really come back, get five goals? I don't think that is possible tonight. This one booted across the Western touchline. More in anger and frustration uh, by Kenny um, Glenston Prince. But here is St. Kitts-Nevis. O'Loughlin takes it. He finds William. Williams is trying to get away. He's been held back from behind. Taken very quickly. Finds Josh. Josh turns it inside. Finds Devon Elliott. Lulu getting her five goals that she was looking for. Uh, five goals to nail in favor of Team St. Kitts-Nevis. We are down to extra time now. Finds Devon Elliott. He's looking for support. He turns it inside. Finds Sawyer. Sawyer looks for the man on the outside. Looking to go between some two players. An infringement called against Dominica. And it will go the way of Team St. Kitts Nevis. We hear a bit of singing outside, and uh, that is a goodbye song. It's been right. sung it's here by goodbye the to Dominico. Because <laughs> Dominico, um, they drew the first game, and they're, they're now lost. Well, miserably lost. Uh, it, it take you in mind of how uh, how um, Brazil lost to Germany. <laughs> well, I tell you, this is 5-0 to sink its Nevis. This one touched back outside. Looking for Devon Elliott, trying to split the defense. Picked up there by Kennedy. Alice finds the man. Saw you on the outside right. Tries to feed that one inside to Kennedy. Gets past the custodian and try to chip that one around. you got to be careful when Kennedy Isles in on top of that ball. Very, very skillful and nimble player he is got inside the penalty the goalkeeper came he was able to faint the defender and then try to curl it around the custodian glenston prince but they went into the side netting the score remains five goal to nil here at Warner park we probably down to the final minute of tonight's game and that one is booted by Glenston Prince. Down into the center circle. They go up for the header. This is a chance for Dominica. Can they clear something off the sheet? In number seven with it, Wade. Wade with it, turns it inside. Finds Kenny Baptiste. Look for Wade. Wade on the top of the box now, looking for some support. The ball breaks down. Here's a tussle. Comes in for it. Picked up there by Sinkets. Here comes Leader. Leader finds the man, Sawyer. Sawyer turns it in, finds Kennedy. Kennedy looks for Sawyer. Sawyer cuts in between. Beats to players. Looking for some support. He's speeding up the right side. He's still Sawyer. With it on the right side of the field. Looking for support. Turns it inside. Finds Tishan. Tishan goes back. He finds the captain in Giroy. He spreads it to the left side. He finds St. Just. St. Just with it. Looks up. Looking for support. Is it over? Well, it looks as though it's over, Essington. The fat lady has sung. It's all over here at Warner Park for the Commonwealth of Dominica. Again, Games team St. Nevis. The final score in tonight's game is five goals to nil. Two came in the second half, three came in the first half. We also had our own goal coming from Team Dominica in the first two minutes of the game. It was a brilliant exhibition of skill and patience, ball handling here by the St. Nevis football team. Dominica looked out of it. They had a few patches of glory, but they were not able to hold on enough and put any sort of semblance of together that could challenge the Sinkitz Nevis squad tonight. On the night, Sinkitz Nevis was definitely the better team.